Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Try 5 Guy. And as you can see, I've got a trailer hooked up to the back of my Silverado. Tomorrow morning, me and the wife are heading down to the Port of New York to pick up my 1994 Holden Commodore Utility, or as they say back in Australia, a ute. I had this car imported back in March and it finally got here last Thursday. It's past customs and quarantine. So don't forget, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thanks. Just stopped to get gas uh, in a town called Elliot, it's in Maine. Make sure we've got uh, everything all situated, the trailer's fine. Heading into New Hampshire from Maine. Heading towards Boston. State of Connecticut, Wilmington rest area. GW Bridge, heading over to New Jersey now. So we're finally at the port in New Jersey, towards America. And uh, we're just gonna go over in that direction and we have to talk to someone, um, give our paperwork to them and they're gonna lead us to the car. I'm just going to walk around this corner here and go in the office. Is that where the office is, bud? Yeah, through there. Okay, so I'm in the docks here. They let me in as far as uh, to go get my, my ute, and there she is. Oh, not that one. <laughs> it's the one right over there. Pretty cool actually. There's a car from Europe here. Here it is. I'll just do a quick walk around. I just want to just sweat and if it was going to get damaged or not. But there it is. Wow. It's been a while since I saw it. A good uh, two and a half, three months. Doors open. There she is. Dirty. Still got the same dit in the tailgate. <laughs> just going to make sure she's uh, yeah, pretty much the same. Dirty though. But she's here. Wow, huh? It's even they even license plates still on her for someone would have put them. But yeah, nah, it's good. It's cool. Right. Doors open. Alrighty, I'll uh, I'll just drive it to to the front. I'll be back. So she wouldn't start. I had to get my jump pack. And uh, I just, and that wouldn't start it, so I'm waiting for the guy to come over and give me a jump start. But oh, it's to be expected, you know. But anyway, uh, just waiting for the guy to get here with a jump pack. Anyway, pretty much the way I left it, just no power, absolutely nothing. Maybe two months at sea would do that to a car, don't know. Anyway. A couple of uh, cars, a Jaguar getting exported. Same with this uh, 300ZX here. That's getting uh, exported and the Jag. Well, these are all getting exported. Uh, I think this is too. These are all getting exported. That's an import, you can tell that. And uh, a couple of Ks over there, K trucks. Pretty cool. Leaving the port now, we're going to load it up on the on the truck. Obviously, it's not registered to be in the states yet, but it will be. So I'm just going to drive it to the, uh, the Silverado. 
it feels a bit odd driving. I mean, I've got a right-hand drive car, but I mean, this thing was, feels odd. You know? But I'm just happy it's uh, in one piece and it's in perfect condition. The what? Well, perfect condition. The way I left it at the port in Melbourne. So yeah. So guys, we uh, we finally made it back um, at, from uh, New Jersey, from the Ports America, and uh, yeah, well, there she is. Uh, we did 650 miles. We left at 3:30 this morning, and we got back at 10 to 6. Uh, we were there for about an hour, maybe an hour and 20 minutes at the port. Um, you know, doing paperwork and getting it ready and. Uh, loading it up on the trailer but um, I'm happy it's home and uh, yeah what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll get it off the trailer in the next uh, couple of days I'll make another video of it just to you know inside of it or you know go around it again maybe underneath and, and the engine bay for those that are interested but hey you know uh, let me know what you think guys um, tell me what you think about it you know yay nay um, uh, this one's gonna get a six liter uh, automatic transmission and I'm um, toying around with a uh, turbo so um, definitely get an uh, uh, LS LS1 um, yeah we'll talk about more on the next video uh, so there there it is so hey thanks for watching and please like and subscribe I would appreciate it and hit that notification bell but, uh, yeah, I'd like that too. All right, see you on the next one. Thank you.